The following is a presentation of the Missouri Sports Network. Hey, welcome to the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage presented to you, presented by Central Bank of the Ozarks, Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, Doak Propane, Lyona Labors Local 663, Burgess and Associates, Great Southern Bank, and the Bank of Billings. We go north, just north of the studio here, about 20 miles to Humansville, Missouri, home of the Tigers and head coach uh, Fred Lundeen. And coach, uh, thanks so much for your time this morning. No problem. Thanks for having us. 21 and 5 on the season. You've played your last regular season game, district start on Monday. Kind of put a bow on this year's season uh, from, a, from a Tiger standpoint. Well, to me, uh, it's been magical, to be honest with you. Um, 21 and 5 um, uh, it has not been done here in a while. Uh, we have to go back to the archives, find when the last time it was done. But as far as I know, it's, it's been a first. Um, this is my first year here, and I've been very thankful because I inherited a great group of kids that are willing to work hard, and they they have natural God-given basketball talent, and it's been pretty special. So I'm very proud of them. Uh, you know, not a not a very large squad. I think nine players. You know, on on your on your roster. Tell us a little bit about that and the challenges there with even as much as a practice. Uh, well, we uh. We make do, but we have one of our managers uh, step in and practice with us. Uh, it's actually uh, this guy's little brother, uh, Tate. You know, he's got Ty, Tate, and we got Tucker, so the three T's. Uh, but uh, Tate's a seventh grader. He comes in. He's our manager, but he stands in when we have to do five-on-five stuff. So he comes in and practice, and he runs with the team. He practices, does the drills, and, you know, helps us out a lot because we can get stuff done, and he does a really good job. So that's how we make do. Um you know, I rotate in six, but I got, you know, uh, three others that are willing to play, want to give us some good minutes in case we need them. But uh, with what we got, we play pretty good basketball. And I like, I like, even though it's a small amount of numbers, I like the numbers we got. So, Now, it's your, your first season there, Humansville, as I understand. You start off, you know, you won your first four games, uh, including getting to the championship of, uh, of your own tournament. Um mm -hmm. Kind of tell us a, a little bit about the team. What can folks expect when they come and see you guys? You like to get you like an up and down pace. Uh, are you big? Uh, what you know? What what style do you play? Well, you know, we like to press. Uh, we like to trap and get after it um, offensively. You know, we try to push. You know, we kind of just go. We just go with what works. If pushing the ball works, we do that. If we have to slow the game down, we'll slow the game down. We just kind of we have all the tricks of the trade. Um, does it work out perfectly in our favor all the time? Not always, but, you know, we, we establish identity that we like to press and get after on defense and then work the ball around with our offense. So we got two big guys that we can work the ball into, but we also got a core of three-point shooters that, you know, we drive and kick and we can score that way. And we just kind of just go with, go with the flow of the game. You know, if this doesn't work, we got this. So we got, you know, we always got something in our back pocket to, that we can do. You know, was was there a point, you know, at, at this season, maybe it's that, you know, that holiday, Doug Lear uh, holiday classic at Wablo where you, you come out on top there, you beat a, a good Dadeville team in, in that tournament. Was there a point maybe at the season where you felt like, hey, this this group's got it, we can maybe go on a run? Oh, um, I felt from game one that we can do something special this year and we're, we're starting to do it. We just – right now I'm just trying to get our boys to understand that, you know, don't be don't be scared of this. I mean, go go relish this and go attack this. Okay, we're we're not out to defend anything. We're out to fight for it. Um, you know, we got second place in Humansville. We got second place in the Pleasant Hill Tournament. We got second place or third place in the Doug Lore. Uh, that game against Davil in the in the in the Wobble Tournament. Um, we, you know, we were kind of bitter about that last second shot that knocked us out of the turn or knocked us out of first place. So. We wanted to make a point in that game. We played Dave, and we came out sending a message that you know we are we are pretty good. And right now we're kind of we're kind of have a chip on our shoulder. We're tired of being second place or being picked second place or being picked second place for districts and things like that. So we're kind of hungry right now, and we want to show people that we are one of the best teams in this area. 
Sitting alongside uh, our Chevy leaders of the Ozarks, uh, after the leap scored his 100, or I'm sorry, 1,500 career point. Tell us a little bit about uh, about Tucker. Well, he's one of he's a great leader. Um, kid will jump through a brick wall if you ask him to. Um, he he helps keep the players in line. Like when I act like the bad cop, he's the good cop. He gets them all like, hey, don't worry about it. Let's keep keep focus. You know, um, he does everything I ask him to do. I mean, he. I can put him anywhere on the court and we're fine. He can be a point guard if I need him to be. I can, he can be a post. I can have him do this. Um, he helps with guarding the paint. So when people drive to the rim, he's there to stop it. Um, overall, this kid's a hard worker. Um, he's, he's been very hungry this year and, you know, he's inspired the other kids to step up their game. So he does a really good job. And I'm, I'm very thankful to have a kid like him on my team. Tucker, uh, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I am good. So tell us, uh, number one, were you aware that you were getting close to that 1,500 point, 500 points? Yeah, I knew I was close. And I knew before the game I had six points, but yeah, it was pretty exciting. Do you remember what the shot was? Yeah, it was a fadeaway jumper. I told him not to shoot him. He nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So going back, uh, now, now you're a senior, but going back uh, over your career, do you remember your first? Two points. Nah, uh, I, I I do not remember my first two points. Tell us uh, how how's your game changed from obviously you've gotten bigger, stronger from your freshman year to your senior year. Yeah. Any other? Are you pretty much the same player, or have you as your role had to change? Uh, I've always focused on my main thing being driving and scoring inside, but I've tried to learn how to drive better and play outside more. Yeah, very good. Well, who uh, kind of in your past, maybe going back to your freshman year, who's kind of – who's really kind of helped you become the player that you are? Maybe it's someone that you grew up with. Maybe it's a coach. Maybe it's a, a parent. Uh, yeah, both my parents have always helped me and pushed me to be who I am. They always take me to travel ball in the summer and always push me to be the best person I can be. Very good. Very good. So what has been your impression of this season? 21 wins on the season – what, yes. uh, what, what's it been like from a player standpoint? It's very exciting. It's very fun to play. Uh, just have a good group of guys to play with. It's fun. We've played since we were about five years old, all of us together. And it's very exciting. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hey, uh, if you could go back, you know, if Tucker Ehlers as a senior could go back and give Tucker Ehlers a fre as a freshman some advice, what advice would you give yourself if you could go back? I mean, what what would it be? Just take in, take it all in, or what? Uh, what advice would you give yeah. yourself? Just cherish every moment. Not be so nervous all the time. I like to think a lot, and just not be so nervous and just play your game. Very good. Are there games in your past that uh, that you'd like to go back and play again? Maybe it's your, maybe you had forty points in a night, and that that was a lot of fun. Or maybe it's a a district championship game or a conference or a, a tournament. Yeah, maybe it's a game that got away from you that you'd like to go back and play again because you, th you think you were better than that team. But are there yeah. games that you look back on and, and, man, I'd like to go back and play that one again? Yeah, probably all the tournaments that we got second place and third place, I'd probably go back and play those again. Me too. Very good. You excited about uh, districts? Yeah, very excited. I very think we good. have a good shot. Well, again, Tucker, on behalf of the Missouri Sports Network, uh, Chevrolet, and the Missouri State Highway Patrol, congratulations on being named thank an you. athlete of the week. Cool. Thank you. And Coach Lundeen, uh, t tell us a little bit. You know, you're 21 and 5. You start districts next week. You are the two seed. Uh, you split with Dadeville this season, I believe. They end up getting the one seed. Uh, we beat them twice. They beat us once. We beat them earlier in the year, and they beat us in conference. So. Oh, okay. So you're two and one against the one seed. Uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, who do you have in the first round? I guess you've got Everton maybe in the first round and, uh, you know, they mm -hmm. haven't won all season. Uh, what, what are your expectations here going into districts? Uh, kind of tell us earlier, you know, you know, like I said, we're tired of being picked second and we're, we're on a mission and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to take every team seriously, you know, Everton, you know, teams like that, they have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So they're going to come bring it. So we got to we can't go in there and lay an egg and just kind of mess around. So basically, our mission is to get through Everton first and foremost, and then we get prepared for the next game, and then the next game after that. We take it one game at a time. But uh, 
I expect us to be in the championship game, and I expect us to do well. So that's Very good. You got probably a Wheatland, a good Wheatland team in that second round. Yes. Uh, I guess I think they're the three seed in that in that district. But uh, are you guys going into this? Are are you relatively healthy? Uh, for the most part, we are. You get a couple bumps and bruises, but you know uh, they got the weekend to rest and recoup. We'll be fine. Uh, we got we got a resilient bunch. I mean, we got kids that are, you know, no matter what aches and pains, they don't want to come out of the game, and so they're gamers. They're they're all about it. Well, Coach, I greatly appreciate uh, getting this set up, and your athletic director, Marina Cheney, uh, helped uh, get this set up. And she actually – she played for me when I coached there cool. at Hughesville. So I'm really old. So, uh, <laughs> in fact, I believe Tucker's dad may have played for me. Yeah, uh, maybe. He, uh, so I'm really old. But uh, we appreciate you guys. And, uh, hey, good luck. And go out and get that district championship, and, and we'll have you Thank back you. on at the end of next week. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're watching the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where, as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow.